I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. The core of my channel has always been that whatever I'm doing, I make a video about it so you guys can follow along. And today what I'm doing is I'm updating the firmware on my Fat Shark DVR. If you have Fat Shark goggles, you probably know that there is a lot to improve about the DVR. <laughs> and one of the things that uh, has motivated this improvement is that there's a specific issue that came out if you were using rapid fire but hang on, don't go. The firmware update is useful even if you are not using rapid fire. It just, it would basically immersion RC went fine and rewrote the firmware for the DVR to fix this rapid fire issue. And while they were at it, they made a whole lot of other things better. So if you have fat shark goggles and if you have a DVR in those goggles, of course you do, you're going to want to go to this page link in the video description and you're going to download this firmware. Don't let the fact that it says this build fixes the black blinky issue when using rapid fire with PAL cameras. Don't let that fool you into thinking that just because you don't have rapid fire, you won't benefit from this. You will benefit from this regardless of what, which goggles you're using. Um, it, um, it, it makes the frame rate more consistent basically and gets rid of black blinky screen it basically makes the, what you see in the DVR closer to what you see in the goggles. So you're going to download that zip file and I'm just going to click down here and it's going to open in my zip file viewer. I'm on Windows and mine is called 7-Zip. If you need to, you can download 7-Zip from the internet and install it. Um, and here's the update procedure right here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to make absolutely sure that your firmware is compatible. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check this compatibility list in the PDF file that's in the zip file and make sure that yours is compatible. Your goggles have to be compatible. So I have Dominator HD threes. It is compatible. Some of the goggles, some of the older goggles are not directly compatible. They're only compatible if you have updated your DVR board. But for the most part, all the fat shark goggles are compatible. Then what you're going to want to do is follow this procedure to the letter. If you don't follow this procedure exactly, then you could brick the DVR. If you do brick the DVR, <laughs> Fat Shark will fix it for you, but it is not covered under warranty. You have to send the goggle into them. Um, or you can just buy a brand new DVR board, which due to the cost of shipping is probably gonna be cheaper for most of you. So just follow these instructions and don't brick your freaking DVR. So I'm gonna plug in my GoPro. Got it. And I've got an SD card inserted in here. We are going to format the SD card, so make sure it doesn't have any awesome footage on it. And the other thing you can see, my module is turned on, so I'm going to turn off the module. And now the module is off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down this button. This is the DVR button right here. And in fact, if I press it once, the DVR stops recording. And then I'm going to hold that button down. So here I am looking at the DVR screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down two times, well one time, to the format menu option and write one time to, you know, to add, so it's like to click OK. Then I'm going to go down and highlight execute and write one time and that will format the SD card. Now you must format the SD card here in the goggles. You can't do it on your computer. You must insert it into the goggles and format it. Now I'm going to insert the card into my computer. Now I'm going to insert the card into my computer's SD card reader. And this right here is why? Why does it do that? Oh, really? That's the thing. Okay. Windows. I don't. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I just learned that's a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna, this right here is my SD card that I took out of the Fat Sharks. I'm going to go and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the file onto the bin. Uh, yeah. Okay. Onto the root of the SD card. So here we go. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it boom right onto the root of the SD card, not into the DSIM folder, not anywhere, but right here, right next to the DSIM folder. I'm going to put that bin file. And then the safest thing to do on Windows is to safely eject, but just make sure it's done copying over. And I'm going to pop that out. Now, I'm going to power my goggles down. I'm going to insert this SD card into the goggles. And then I'm going to 
plug in the power. Now this is very important. Do not turn off the goggles at this point. Wait. Oh, there you go. See what the LED is doing? That means your firmware is being updated. If you unplug the goggles now, you're in big trouble. You'll have to get a new DVR board. Let's keep going. When the flashing stops and the LED turns off, remove power and wait for 15 seconds. Oh, LED's off. Flashing is stopped. Moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to unplug power. Okay, sure. Oh, God. This is it. I have no DVR anymore. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Plug in. My goggles are actually have... I don't know if they... Oh! Looks good. Oh, yeah. DVR is... Off. Let's find out. Hold down that button. Oh, yeah. Well, I, the exposure on the camera is not really working, but the DVR is... There it is. Yeah, you can see it's there. My DVR is working. All is good. That's how to do the update. At the end of the day, follow these steps. Please don't brick your firmware. I don't think I missed any steps. It's not, very, it's not rocket science, but if you're not absolutely sure that you're doing it right, then be real freaking careful, okay? Because you don't want to brick your DVR. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.